Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Moreno Ravenberg here again. Uh, today I'm going to discuss um, mercurial spirits. That's the simplest way to put it. I unfortunately don't have a lot of experience with mercurial spirits, and uh, I'm also not too familiar with people that do. I can't. I don't really know anybody um, that produces content online, in which, uh, or I don't know any other magician or sorcerer that um, even back in the, in the day when I engaged with a, a good deal of them, I don't know any other occultist or I'm not familiar with any other occultist that, that uh, has a specific wide range or extensive experience with mercurial spirits. So I just thought that I'd discuss the matter with them. The same goes for me unfortunately, like I said in the beginning, I don't have too many experience with them. Uh, claw neck is mercurial. I have a uh, viewer is also mercurial. Mercurial slash solar um, and so on. There are a few that I've worked with that can be considered mercurial. Belial is also one of them. But I'm simply going to discuss and going. I'm going to discuss mercurial spirits, and we're going to delve a bit deeper into um, dealing with them and their attributes and so on. I unfortunately one of the main reasons for why I don't have too much experience with spirits like these mercurial spirits is because. Um, I'm not too fond of them, I'm not going to lie to you. I, Mercury, as, I'm not too fond of Mercury as a planet. No offense meant to Mercury under Michael's rulership, but uh, for some Raphael, but it's Michael, honestly, based on my knowledge and experience. Um, but I, I was never too fond of Mercury, okay? Mercury covers a, a, a variety of, of things, okay? A whole list of things, uh, not just one or two specific things. But, I don't know, for some reason Mercury just never appealed to me. I never saw the practical application or the practical value of Mercury, despite the fact that it is there. Um, so, from a basic perspective, let's start at the beginning, okay? Mercury rules the zodiac signs Gemini and Virgo. And generally speaking, it's at its strongest in Gemini. Gemini is also the most recognizable mercurial, um, mercurial zodiac sign, okay? So whenever you think about Mercury, aside from Virgo's uh, sp uh, specifics, things like health, work, uh, craftsmanship, and all of those things, okay, um, Gemini is the most, the most noticeable with everyday dealings, communications, in every way, shape, or form. We're talking about over the phone, on paper, uh, practically everything you do on the internet, whether it be audio or video-wise or image-wise, is the exchange of communication back and forth and that is noticeable in daily life okay regardless of whether you're someone that makes use of the internet or not doing something as simple as talking to someone is is uh, falls under gemini and therefore mercury and now it comes down to it things that i've noticed um, and when i've worked with mercurial spirits are that mercurial spirits are um, they're hard to see they're more ethereal than the average spirit uh, they're hard to see in the fact that they, they basically just, um, they're, lit, they're very uh, airy to put it that way. It's a true testament to the element that, uh, it's, a true te it's a true testament to the fact that Gemini and is an air sign from an elemental perspective. Um, an example, examples that I can list are Belial and uh, Klonek. Despite the fact that Klonek isn't even Gemini, he's a uh, Virgo. But, um, Things that they have in common in general, okay? Even with Belial. With Belial, generally speaking, I use uh, solar correspondences. But Belial, both of you use for Belial. He himself told me that. Um, a good deal of Gemini spirits or Mercurial spirits told me you can use solar as well as uh, mercurial, uh, mercurial attributes for working with me because of the link that those two planets share. But yeah, in gen generally speaking, I have noticed that they're a lot more ethereal. They, they, disappear easily from view and they can also appear easily um, within the blink of an eye of course and uh, Gemini spirits okay we're talking about true mercurials or, or spirits that are absolute Gemini spirits that deal with communication and things like that they are the hardest to see and um, that's also why if you check the greater uh, key of Solomon the order of the pentacles specifically Mercurial pentacles do have that. One of the pentacles has um, one of the pentacles has as a description that mercurial spirits are hard to see, and that with one of these pentacles you'll be able to see these spirits. 
and that is true okay i have no difficulty in seeing them but like i said they're very airy okay their qualities they're so tra they're the most transparent of every practically every spirit that i work with i can't think of another spirit that is as transparent none not even a piscean spirits or spirits that are water based no all of them are um, uh, all um, mercurial spirits more or less are ethereal clonic is also ethereal they're very ethereal okay in the sense that um, it's hard to see them and so on uh, the only one for whom that doesn't really apply i'd say would be um, c3 the goerich spirit c3 but c3 is an exceptional case to be honest i know i have no issues with c3 in terms of um, transparency but uh, c3 is also very um, very smooth in, in motion and um, and going from one place to the other um, you can read about c3 on the blog if you'd like but i'm not going to go into that in detail but yeah okay even even if i didn't know c3's um, attributes i'd immediately be able to say that yeah c3 is most likely mercurial based on his entire way of going about things and so on and yeah um, but yeah, that is it, and I just wanted to run that past you guys, okay? Not a lot of people are familiar with mercurial spirits, but they do have potential, okay? Um, Gemini spirits, for example, everyday dealings, you don't come across a lot of spirits that are... Um, you don't come across a lot of spirits that are, that are Gemini in nature. Um, when, I talk, when I'm talking about Gemini that specifically deal with communication and day-to-day -day thingies, uh, let's just say day-to-day -day factors and and working with them on a day-to-day -day basis for a really quick and uh, devastating results okay we're talking about results within a day or two or something similar there aren't too many of those kind of spirits out there i might just um, i might just summon a couple of them to see uh, just for uh, record keeping purposes one or two spirits that specifically deal with um, with gemini related affairs communication going from short range distances going um, getting results as quickly as possible as swiftly as possible and also spirits that are light to work with okay generally speaking uh, mercurial spirits are also the lightest spirits to work with in the sense that they they don't take such a heavy toll on you okay the toll that they take on you is oh, compared to other spirits generally speaking is the least heaviest okay so they're ridiculously light to work with i also remember the first time that i summoned belial I just use mercurial correspondences and if you read the article on Belial, the research files Belial, then I, I write in that article too that it's almost like I didn't summon anyone at all, okay? It's like I, I performed no ritual whatsoever. Belial was so ridiculously light, but after that, shortly after that, I started using solar uh, correspondences and, and things changed after that. Belial did become heavy, but uh, not ridiculously heavy. But yeah, generally speaking, Mercurial spirits, that's also one of the traits. Mercurial spirits are really light to work with. It hardly feels like you're working with any spirit at all. That's also one of the things I like about them. And uh, like I said, I might, uh, I might uh, do extensive research on them and just uh, scurry up some, some mercurial spirits that specifically deal with, um, with speed and, and, and being able to do things within the blink of an eye and so on. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe one celestial, one inferno. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching in any case. Bye.